Welcome back, everybody, to Hogwarts Legacy. I'm your host, Admiral Tintin. And today we get to watch somebody trying to climb on a broom <gasps> with full robes. And, yeah, I would like to see a little bit better graphic design than that. Considering this day and age, but, uh, well, we're just, uh, <laughs> gonna magically shove that broom through our robes, no problem. <laughs> okay, well, I'll pick you back up. We're going to be doing a little bit of a detour today, but not much of one. Uh, I have sold off some gear and equipment. And we're going to be heading to, well, we're going to be heading to the Herbology class and do some other questing as well. So stay tuned and I'll pick you up when we get there. And here we are at the Herbology class. Today we get to learn some new interesting things. You'll have to excuse the background noise. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, nice. cotton fluff. Rip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a plant. The soil real life. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. Of course, got to have a brief word with me. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. 
Let's see how to balance my stock is a bit of magic. You mean a bit of water? <laughs> okay, well, I guess magic solves everything. Oh, what's going on here? I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. It's strange. Hmm. So, as I was saying, uh, I do have a lot of background noise and so forth, so I do apologize for that. I will try to cut it out as much as possible. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from... Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Uh, so there's the fertilizer I bought and the seeds that I got. This is it. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Uh, well, hence the word chomping cabbage. <laughs> Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But you'll lead. Okay. I'll lead. All right. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. No. Oh. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Ravenclaws too. At least you did. <laughs> Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Mm, great. So where's the stuff it's going to chomp on? Other than our fingers. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry, Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me, you do not want to go through that. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Toss the cabbages at it. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, newbie. Look at that. Well, children, they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, huh. aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls and hogsmead and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you Yeah, like a screaming mandrake. That'd be great. 
Oh, they just disappear after a while, apparently. Well, there's the chomping cabbage. Okay, so it's back to class, I guess. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna go the short way instead of the long road, right? We had to go that long route, I guess, for all the other collectibles. Makes a little sense. This fella here just uh snails pace walking. We should always wear our dragon hide gloves. Okay. I shall end our lesson here. Talk her again. Sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Yeah. Something tells me it's not entirely true. Okay, so that's that one. Inspect. Three minutes, 46 seconds. New quest available. But, should we wait the three minutes? Mm, yeah, seven seconds. There we go. That wasted a good three minutes of my time in your video and uh, your life. <laughs> oh, I could just collect it every so often. Interesting. All right. Well, let's fast travel to, to the now? new location. Let's just run there. Not too far away. Well, I took a wrong turn, didn't I? Run, run, run. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school? Professor Black would never allow it. Begin. All right, here we go. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong emotion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. 
And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. Uh, collect ash winder eggs and collect dark mogul mogul fur mogul fur don't fret if you run out of ingredients i simply grow most of what i need well i just usually eat it my parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors Did i hear professor sharp oh. say that you have permission to go into his office He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. <clears throat> and then perhaps not. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Uh-huh. No. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Sorry, buddy. I'm not gonna go and do... There's the fur. What's this? Memorandum. Go ahead and read at your leisure. And I'll just steal other things, apparently. There's the fupa feather. Uh, nope, we're not touching it. There's the eggs. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have okay, interact. No, okay. I'm almost done. There it is. Pick it up. We're good. Uh, hork, hork lump juice, eh? I can make more potions, but we'll just leave it and as one. Now we add the mallow sweet and, and we'll go talk to him. Odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. <laughs> what now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mm. Sorry, buddy. I didn't get your flower that you wanted or your feather. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. Aha. Uh -huh. I confess I was 
skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a but solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Nah. Uh -huh. We're done. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Mm, sorry about the Weasley kid. But, uh... Rebellion. Where is that sneaky thing? I hear it. Right there. Professor Sharp's aura badge? Interesting. Of course, it's always read at your leisure. And I can brew as many potions as I like, but for now, we're good. I'll come back and brew some other time. There's the key. I knew I heard a key somewhere. All right, let's, uh, where's that? Right there. Gotcha. Level one lock. Odd that I was able to unlock the other thing. Okay, so this is outside, so world map. And we gotta go over here. Whoops. There we go. A little fast travel. I did go to town in between videos it's and sold some place. supplies. So we don't have too much of that going on. Too much uh, over inventory, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Overused space that goes absolutely nowhere. They must have come this way. Think. Okay, here we go. I have no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Still the right. Um, target hmm. Oh, what's the light go out of ah. your eyes? Is that right? Hmm. The collection section of the field guide has been updated with your new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies, such as their weaknesses to certain spells. Oh, I gotta dodge, literally. Ooh. 
Wow, I was sloppy. <laughs> what on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. They like the smell of my socks. Mm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, hmm. my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. No, as am I, but I'm no Slytherin, that's for darn sure. Uh... I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Oh. I'm full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. As long as no giant fish jumps out to bite me in the face, I'm okay with it. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place hmm. the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. All right. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Like the cauldron. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio. The flames make the pyre sink. Sorry, I'm a, I got a bit of a knack for puzzles for the most time. As long as my math is spot on and not rubbery like my brain. The pyres are back where they started. Oh. Okay. So we've got a limited time. Incendio. Let's 
shit. Gazebo. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful Indeed. out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. What is the purpose? Just to unlock them all, I guess? Oh, wild. She just packed it all up in a suitcase. And zipped away. And just like that, the lady was gone. Greetings. I understand. You're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you've found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Of course you would. That long lost book is meant to be lost, not found by other people. I never thought Ramrock's loyalist. Pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Mm. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. I feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it will be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again? I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. And there I go, casting a one because my cat decided he wanted to step on my belly. <laughs> Jeez, I'm telling you. This is why I have my gaming room. So do not get interrupted by everything in the name of the book. I wonder who lives there. Well, I wonder. Probably this guy, hey? Maybe? That fellow there? No? Level one lock, can't open it. All right, can't talk to that gentleman. What's this fella? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? There's a thief on the loose by the name of Katrin Haggerty. She's an ashwinder. She's stealing everything that's not nailed down, and people have had enough. 
Catherine's hiding in a camp just southwest of town. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, well, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My price is a low enough already, you see. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they are, bud. What do you mean? <laughs> I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. I'm sure they are. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Well, I have these. What is this? Leech juice. Oh, I already made that. Lace wing flies already got. I don't I don't need any of this. Well, it was nice knowing you. I hope to see you again sometime. Later. I already I'm have a lot of that. that goblin banker at Gringotts. I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. What's in here? Sheep. <laughs> And I'm Little Bo Peep. And Blue White Spectacles. Some money. I appreciate the fact that you can hop over a fence. That's always nice. Oh, there was a lock on the front door. Blue Leather Gloves. Uh -huh. Stuff outside, but that's it. Was it just me, or was there not a lock on that door earlier? Or was it this one? Uh, it's this house. Yeah, and it's got the stuff inside of it. Okay. All right, and there is a chest in there. And it's getting late, so by the time I make it back, slugging through the water. Okay, let's see if we can just fast travel to the quest at hand, and we will go exploring after Hogsmeade map. Oh, we got to go to Hogsmeade. Seriously. All right. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, just every other one. Ollivanders. Here we go. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom, Applewood Wand, with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. 
Surely you could continue searching the Owlery? Oh, one would think. However, the Headmaster does not take kindly to an old wandmaker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts. Always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand making is. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Ah, you've brought hope to this old one-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Yeah, I'm remarkable as long as I'm useful, right? Uh, okay, so it's... We'll fast travel here, and then we'll get on the road and start moving butt, because it's getting late. How inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Oh, you need to shush it. There we go. Could throw the book up, but <clears throat> it takes a while. Cut across the field here. a little faster and we gain some material along the way perhaps well, that looks like it's sitting right into the tower you can't cross that water like that no well, we probably could but we'd probably wash away at the same time <clears throat> <Woo -hoo. laughs> And it's probably going to prompt us for a daylight when we get there, no doubt. Keep an eye open for that page that floats around every now and again. I'm guessing we're going to have to go back and around, aren't we? Because this is going to be a dead end. Maybe. I do see an opening. Alright, cool. Shortcut it is. There we go. And there's that darn cat. I'm going to mute my...
Sorry about that. My cat is definitely in heat. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Must be. A whole bunch of owls in here. Holy smoly, is there ever. Wow, there's a lot of owls. Don't wow. Know, I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? Cool. Rebellion. I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Hogwarts owls, scowl owls, and owls owned by students can be found in Hogwarts Owlry. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for the owl droppings and regulated mouse skeletons. Alright, so, Rebelio? Somebody said to cast. Oh, I hope so. Uh, yeah. That's the only thing I got, so. Rebellion. No, here she goes again. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. This will do nicely. <sighs> Nothing. My best keep looking. Best keep looking. Here's a welcome surprise. Oh, my God. No statues here. A treasure map. Okay, we'll figure that one out later. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. This will do nicely. Get down this ladder. Statues here. Okay, well. <laughs> There's a jacked up. Should be all of them. Go ahead and put them in place. What's happening? What's happening? Indeed.
Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. Yes, I'm sure he would. <laughs> How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons, but as you can see, I never got the chance. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Beware a light breeze, yeah, you mean like a fart? <laughs> if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well... My decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Well then, I guess our journey continues. And with that note, I do apologize, but this will have to be the end of this video. I will continue from where I've left off here, or really close, on the next one. So please stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed, please give it a like, share it, and of course, hit that little bell so when you're notified for the next one, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.